Well, if you're starting with season one, um, you have a lot of catching up to do. Good luck, it's exhausting. Uh, I started with season one and watched all four to get ready for season five. It took me a couple of months. Um, so I play the doctor at an infirmary at a prison where our hero gets himself incarcerated in order to break his brother out. Um, I'm a part of his plan to manipulate me to do something for him for the escape. In the process, we sort of accidentally fall in love and I end up going on the run um, with him and at the point at which he dies, I'm pregnant with our child. That takes you up to, a lot of spoilers in there, super sorry. Um, that takes you up until the end of the fourth season. Season five picks up seven years later. So I've been raising that child uh, by myself, believing my husband is dead. So what was it like? I mean, like you said, it's been almost 10 years since you yeah. played this role. What was it like kind of going back into that? Was it hard? It was a lot like a high school reunion. Do you know what I mean? Like there's all these people that you know and you love, but you've lost touch because that's how life is. And then you come back and you realize that you've all changed and you have to get to know each other again, but there's still that kind of kernel of who they were. What was your favorite part about like, reuniting with you know, people that you had worked with in a long time? Oh God, I mean, it's, it's such a big question. Um, it was just beautiful to see what everybody's done. You know, I, Prison Break was a huge launching pad for all of us. And I think, you know, Rob's done such amazing work since, and he was in Mob City, that was Frank Darabont and John Bernthal and some of my dear friends from Walking Dead. and. Um, you know, Rockman's got all these kids and this beautiful career, and I loved watching him so much on Sons of Anarchy. Like, it's been really great to see everybody in their careers since. So, and like, in terms of the show, you know, like, we touched upon it, I like, guess, when I talked to you, but, you know, like, is there something that you're hoping, you know, like, with all the, I know you said you're a little nervous kind of about the hype. Yeah. You know, because you're like, but what do you think it is about, like, all these old shows that people really loved back in the day, and now it's like, they want to kind of revisit those, you know, what do you think it is about that then? Well, you know, I think there is, there's always a, um, when something feels familiar and it meant a lot to you. You know, it's why you go back to the same restaurants that you liked, and it's why you drink the same wine that you've liked before. You know, I think there are things when they, when they work for us, we go back to them. Um, it's possible that there's too much television on right now, and it's very hard to cut through the noise. And so I think sometimes there's so much content, maybe viewers are looking to revisit things that they loved because it's a brand that they trust, and it's a story that they trust, and it's actors that they trust, and writers and directors and everything, rather than you know, look at the 500 new shows that are out there and just sort of try and figure out what they could possibly respond to. 